boys who will stop your little game. We are the boys who will make you think again. Cause who do you think you are kidding, Mr. Hitler? If you think old England's done, Mr. Brown goes off to town on the A21. But he comes home each evening and he's ready with his gun. So who do you think you are kidding, Mr. Hitler? If you think old England's done. As the battle for our homeland reaches its climax, the enemy is throwing everything he's got into the fray. Britain's citizen army, the Home Guard, jeeringly referred to as the Broomstick Army by Dr. Goebbels, is now fully armed. <laughs> and if Mr. Hitler does put his foot on our doorstep, the so-called Broomstick Army will soon make a clean sweep of him. never spare themselves. Day and night, every moment of spare time away from their civilian jobs is taken up with this one thought. In the words of Herbert Morrison, go to it. <laughs> Loss of sleep is no obstacle to these men. After being up all night on maneuvers, they go straight to their offices and factories. This leaves them no time whatever for any other activity. Bye, John. See you tonight. Ah, just as I thought. Come in. Ah, Wilson. Yes, sir. Now, I remember what I was telling the men about advancing in extended order. Yes. Now, I fire this gun. It knocks down the first man, and he, in turn, knocks all the rest down. Yes. So if you were a machine gun, the whole platoon would be mown down. Oh, I see, sir. Quiet, yes. Now, just what? Mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, you... You get the general idea. Yes, yes. Uh, here are the uh, orders from, uh, weekly orders from GHQ, sir. Your copy. Oh, thank you. <clears throat> I'll just put it over with my map case, and it won't get misplaced. All right, sir. Ah. <laughs> uh, excuse me. Are you all right? Perfectly all right, thank you, yes. Oh. Uh. <laughs> what do you think of that? Huh? Oh, I see. Very good, sir, yes. My wife's idea. Oh, yes. A quick draw, you see? Yes, that's it. Very <laughs> <laughs> yes. no, good, sir, but uh, isn't it a little bit uh, unorthodox, wouldn't you say? You know, the trouble with you, Wilson, is that you have a blimp mentality. Of course it's unorthodox. If we're going to beat the harm, we've got to be unorthodox. Can't get into a rut. Got to be flexible. Yes. Why isn't that girl brought my coffee? She knows I like it at 10.30 every morning. I'll go and tell her. No, don't bother. No. No good, I'm going to have to take this thing off. I <laughs> can't sit down comfortably in it at all. Yeah. <sighs> Better keep it handy, though. Never know when the enemy might be at our throat. Oh, I quite agree, sir, yes. Now, are we going to have a good uh, turnout for target practice on Saturday? Well, I do hope so, yes, yes. <sighs> to tell you the truth, Wilson, I was a bit ashamed of our shooting last week. Oh, I don't know, sir. Some of the men didn't do too badly. No, I still fail to understand how they could possibly mistake the tires on the area commander's staff car for the target. What, uh, all four of them? No, all five of them. They got the spare as well. The staff is only other targets. You ask Miss King to bring in my coffee, please. Yes, of course. Of course <laughs> Miss King? Uh, Miss King, will you bring in Mr. Mannering's coffee, please? I say. Yes, sir. You read this, Wilson. Yeah. The Prime Minister will inspect coastal defences in approximately ten days' time. For security reasons, date and time will not be released until the last minute. Mm-hmm. In view of the fact that your platoon was the first to be formed in this area, you have been chosen to act as the guard of honor. Oh, that's wonderful. That's wonderful news. You see, hmm. in the end, real leadership will always be recognized, Wilson. Yes. Yeah. Actually, it says here that we have been chosen because we were the, the first platoon to be formed in the area, you see. <laughs> that would be all, Wilson. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Pity is no imagination. Still, I suppose I shouldn't be too harsh on him. Some men are born to be leaders, some men are born to be led. Unorthodox indeed. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm not going to read all the details.
details out to you. What it boils down to is this, that during the Prime Minister's inspection of coastal defences, we have been chosen to act as guard of honour. No, oh, no, marvellous! No, I'm sure you'll also be pleased to hear that now that ammunition is a little more plentiful, we're going to have another target practice on Saturday. Oh, that's good, sir. Good. Fortunately, we shall have Major Regan with us to give us his expert tuition. Blimey, I thought we got rid of that basket. Yeah. Now, uh, any man who can't attend on Saturday, take one pace forward. <laughs> Why can't you come, Walker? Ah, well, I've uh, got me stall in the market on Saturdays. Hey, uh, I'm playing football, sir. Fraser? Fishing. You were fishing last Saturday. Didn't catch anything. <laughs> about you, Godfrey? I uh, had to go to the clinic, sir. <laughs> Corporal? My dad's coming to tea. <laughs> no, I don't like this man. This is the first time that you've shown anything but 100% keenness. If it's Major Regan that's worrying you, let me assure you that he only has our best interests at heart. Permission to speak, sir? Yes, Corporal. He ain't got my best interest at heart. He tried to get... All right, that's enough. He tried to get me elbow last week, you know. He said I was too... Quiet, Corporal! <laughs> I, I intend to ignore what has just happened, and I shall expect a full tower turnout on Saturday. Is that understood? Sir. Oh, yes, sir. That's better. I knew you wouldn't let me down. Fine body men, Sergeant, aren't they? Yes. Awfully nice. Turn! Turn! Up! Very good. Very smart. Now, when the Prime Minister walks down your ranks in ten days' time, I want him to be able to say to himself, of such stuff as this are Britain's made. <laughs> Good afternoon, Captain. Afternoon, sir. Right, left, turn! Uh, so, sir, uh, would you mind just uh, put, put, putting your rifles down by the side of your... Order arms! Oh. Oh. First two, B Company Home Guard, reporting for target practice, sir. Thank you, Captain. Stand up at ease, will you, sir? That's right, stand at ease. Stand, uh, easy. Well, now, the first thing to do is to send four men to the pits to look after the targets. Is that all right with you, Captain? That's all right, sir. Carry on, Sergeant. Uh, Corporal Jones, fall up the markers. Right, sir. Markers. Fraser. Right. Sir. Stop. Right. Here we go, Corporal. Squad. Squad. Shot. Four inspection. Port. Hut. <laughs> all right, sir. Your thumb, ma'am. Uh, Where is your thumb? Oh. Uh... <laughs> when you port arms for inspection, you put your thumb in the breech like that. Oh. <laughs> oh! <laughs> all right, sir. Home, home on the rain. Ah. Where the dear. All right, all right, all right. I'm coming, I'm coming. <laughs> Last call for Jones here. Uh, ready to start firing, Jonesy? Yes, yes, sir. Bye-bye, Mr. Wilson. Bye-bye, Jonesy. <laughs> now, we're going to start firing, see? I can get hold of that flag. Now, every time you hear a shot, wave it. Well, what's that mean, Cork? That means they've missed. <laughs> if we don't take the target down and have a look, how do we know they've missed? They'll miss. Ah. <laughs> now, gather around, chaps. I'm going to fire a few rounds so that you'll get the idea. <laughs> All right, Sergeant, blow the whistle. Someone shot the top off me flag. <laughs> they must be improving. Don't <laughs> <laughs> call for Jones here. What the hell's going on down there? Keep taking me misses. I've never missed a target in my life. Oh, sorry, sir. Is that you firing, sir? Of course it's me, you fool. I'm coming down to the pit. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. 
Hi up, he's coming down. That was the Major himself firing. Oh, blimey, will I get into trouble? No, no, we'll say it was Jonesy's fault. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do, Jonesy? Right, don't panic. Don't panic. No, we're, we're not panicking. Panic. We're not panicking. We're, we're, panic. we're, we're going to play now. now. Get that target down, will you? Sir, sir. Corporal, what does that look like to you? The hole, sir. <laughs> you know? Oh, yeah, definitely uh, the holes. You? Oh, you I don't know. The hole's, hole's all right. What do you think, Captain? I'd say there are holes too, sir. Well, I'm glad you cleared that point up for me, Captain. Now, listen, you lot. Just get a hold of yourself. You're sloppy, that's what you are. Sloppy. Look at this place. Tidy it up for a start. Get a grip of yourselves. Yeah. Come along, Barry. Look, for heaven's sake, put that on the shoulder. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, that was a close one. I mean, how were we to know that Tom Mix was going to be the first to do the firing? Well, that major's a crack shot. He is. Mr. Wilson said he shot at Bisley. Did he kill him? <laughs> <laughs> no, he only did it to frighten him. <laughs> Jack Jones the butcher. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready, down there? Yes, sir. Ready, madam. Uh, ready, sir. Ready. Are we going to start? Yes, right, right. Right, now, we've got to do it properly this time. Right, Very seasoned man, sir. How did you each fired your five rounds? I must say the results are pretty sloppy. But before we get the other chaps up, I'm sure Captain Manring and Sergeant Wilson would like to fire a few shots, eh, gentlemen? Mm. Uh, well, uh, no, 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 that's quite all right, sir. There's no hurry. Oh, come now, Captain, don't be modest. I say, that's a pretty holster you're wearing. Why do you wear it so low down on your hip? I see. <coughs> it helps him to get uh, static quicker on the draw, do you see, sir? Oh, <laughs> really? You've been watching too many cowboy films. When did you last fire it? Well, actually, I haven't fired it, sir. <clears throat> not, uh, not intentionally, that is. <laughs> you haven't fired it. Well, there's no time like the present. Tom Wilson, tell him to put the dummy up. Uh, put, uh, put, put the dummy up. Yeah, right oh, Will Co. What? Yeah, of course. Why don't you put the dummy up? Mr. Mannering's going to fire. Well, I'll put the dummy up. Razor Joe. Wait till I get the dummy on and right. you haul it up, right? Yeah. Up! Right. Right. All right. All right. That's right. Are you ready, Captain? Raise your revolver slowly, keeping your arms straight, and squeeze the trigger. I haven't told you to fire it yet. <laughs> it went off, sir. I'm pretty sorry. I didn't realize it had such a kick. Of course it's got a kick. It's not a damn water pistol. Well, what are you smiling at? It's going to be your turn next. Oh. Five rounds. Rapid. Fire. Was that on the target, sir? You didn't get it on the bloody range. <laughs> uh, you carry on, sir. Let's see what you can do. Now, right. This is the Thompson submachine gun, which will be issued to your platoon shortly. You can fire it from the shoulder, or you can fire it from the hips. We'll start from firing it from the hip. All right, Sergeant? Yes. Well, now, you grip it like that. Yeah? Yes. And you grip it here. On the yes. pistol grip, that's yes. right. Yes. Tell them to take the dummy down. Yeah, take the dummy down. All right, get a hold of it, man. Nice firm grip. Yes. Left elbow well into your side. Now, the next thing to do is to cock it. Yes. Now, you take your right hand off the grip and pull back the bolt. Yes. Well, go on. Uh, this thing's terribly stiff, isn't it? <laughs> now, it's ready to fire. Oh, there's just one other thing. These guns tend to pull to the right and up. Yes. So I'll brace myself against you to sort of... Uh, Keep you firm, eh? Yes. Oh, there is another thing. Yes. Uh, hot, empty cartridges spew out all over the place. So, uh, watch out for your face. Oh, really? Yes. You got all that? Yes, I have. Yes. <laughs> right, stand by. All right. Standing by. Fire! <laughs> all right, now, do it's all over. <laughs> Sergeant! Exciting, wasn't it? Yes, I suppose. If you like that sort of thing, yes. <laughs> No need to snatch it like that. Don't snatch it. Right, don't you? Now I'll show you how to really fire it. Yes. Tell them to put up the dummy. Yeah, put up the dummy. <laughs> yes, right, sir, right, right. Right. I wish they'd make up their minds. Stick it up, stick it down. Right, Fraser, Joe, get ready for the dummy. Chuck me the dummy. Come on. Okay. Chuck it over. Fire up! Fire up! <laughs> Ah, 
Blimey, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, talk about tear around the dotted line. <laughs> Hello, Mrs. Pike. Oh, Hello, I say, this is a turn up oh, for the book. Yeah. That's just what the doctor ordered. Oh, lovely, Mrs. That's P. Come good. on, lads, get oh, back in. Oh, no, you don't. Where's Arthur and Mr. Mannering? Well, they're coming now, Mum. Well, you don't start till they get here. Oh, oh my Lord, where was the matter? You look worn out. Well, Al Capone here has had rather a shattering experience. <laughs> really unnerved me most, if you don't mind my saying so, sir, was your imitation of Billy the Kid. <laughs> well, never mind, Arthur. Have one of my rock cakes. Better. You don't want to worry about the men not being able to shoot right, sir. As long as they can fix pain, it's in charge. That's what matters. See, the Hun doesn't like it up him, sir. He does not like it up him. As soon as you get the cold skin, <laughs> yes, he yes, does I'm sure you're fighting it. You're fighting... Spirit is an example of all. Yes, sir. Well, I'm not worried about myself, sir, but after this afternoon's little tobacco, well, I think the men's morale is all shattered, sir. <laughs> the morale's anything like a sperm as Mrs. Pike's rock cakes. We're all right, we're all... Yeah. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, Mum. Uh, well, I'll carry on drinking your tea, men. But, Patrick, now, I think it's only fair to say that our shooting today wouldn't have killed many Nazis. On the other hand, it would have made them jolly well keep their heads down. All we need is a little more practice. And then, if Hitler does come knocking at our door, he's going to find us very much at home. <laughs> <laughs> See who that is, Corporal. Henry, <laughs> 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 no. I want to talk to you over here. Yes, sir. Hello, double. <clears throat> Don't you salute a superior officer in the Home Guard? <clears throat> yes, sir. I... <laughs> you can forget all about being the guard of honor for the prime minister's visit i told the area commander what a sloppy lot you are and i thought the escape platoon would make a better job of it oh i really must protest there's no need the area commander's going to give you a second chance tomorrow afternoon there's going to be a shooting contest between you and the escape platoon so pick out your three best shots and have them on the range tomorrow at 1300 hours any questions uh, yes, just one, sir. 1300. One o'clock. There's no question. <laughs> right, carry on. <laughs> Quite absurd. We couldn't possibly be ready by tomorrow. Well, it's only against the three best shots in the platoon, sir. Well, Pike's the only one who's got any idea at all. Well, Fraser tells me he thinks he can just about manage to hit the target. Well, we haven't even seen him shoot. Yeah, I know. It is a bit grim, sir. <laughs> grim? Oh. Hopeless. Yeah. There isn't even any tea left. Oh, Lord. oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Manning. Would you like me to make you some fresh? No, no, no. Don't bother, Mrs. Pike. Thank you. Oh, I must say, you two do look miserable. You look as though you've been stuck against a wall to be shot. <laughs> if our platoon was doing a shooting, they'd have nothing to worry about. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's very amusing, Walker. <laughs> Here, listen, I've got an idea. I normally go down the Hippodrome Theatre on a Saturday night. You know, little orders for the artists. Why don't we all make up a party, eh? Come on, we'll have a marvellous laugh. And we can go down there and I can do my little bit of business in the interval. Joe, that's a lovely idea. Charlie Cheeseman, the cheerful chumps on the top of the bill. Charlie Cheeseman, yeah. the cheerful... Oh, I love him. He always makes me laugh. Doesn't he make you laugh, Arthur? Hmm. <laughs> sure he made you laugh, Arthur. And you, Mr. Manning, you make you both laugh your heads off. <laughs> a big woman, my wife. A big woman. She weighs 18 stone. 18 stone. That's with her eyebrows plucked and her ears pierced. <laughs> my wife, my wife, she's so fat, she's so fat, I have to put a bookmark in to remember where her mouth is. <laughs> Anyhow, we're sitting there having our supper, fish and chips, nice bit of cod, plenty of chips, bread and marge, pot of tea. All of a sudden, Lord Haw Haw comes on the wireless. Have you heard him? Have you? Lord Haw Haw, he said, this is Germany calling, this is Germany calling. Everybody in England, you're all starving. So I looked over the wife, I said, blimey, somebody's telling a lie. <laughs> Customers, a little number dedicated to all fire watchers entitled, I can't get over a girl like you, so turn out the light yourself. <laughs> Thank you, Professor. Isn't he a scream, Arthur? Yes. Don't you think he's a scream, Mr. Mannering? <laughs> yes. Perfect scream. You know, I love the smell of a good cigar, Joe. I didn't think this was a very good idea, do you? No. I don't think it was. Gentlemen, direct from South America, 
the crack shot of the pampas. Miss Laura, Laura Plaz. <laughs> Excuse me, Mrs. P. I've got to nip out for a minute. I'll see you after the interval. Don't go away, darling. What is all this, Wilson? I couldn't make head or tail of your telephone conversation. Well, the walker has some extraordinary idea about helping us to win the shooting competition this afternoon, sir. <laughs> What's he going to do? Bribe the Major? Um, Mr. Manley, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, but the, uh, the shoot this afternoon, I haven't had the chance to tell you. Morning, gentlemen. But in the lap. I the... introduce Laura Laplace from the Hippodrome Theatre. Good morning, gentlemen. Oh. <laughs> Where's my star? <laughs> You've gone mad. No, 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 sir. She's she's a ballistics expert. I can well believe it. <laughs> no, you don't understand. I mean, she knows all about it. Yes. She's going to have a go with us on the range this afternoon. <laughs> Young woman, cover yourself up and go home. What are you saying, Fraser? Hey. Oh, sorry, sir. Something seems to have driven it right out of my head. <laughs> You're all right, darling. Don't break into a trot. No, you don't understand, sir. You see, this is a turn we saw last night at the Hippodrome Theatre. You know, the woman that was a crack shot. She's going to shoot for us this afternoon. No, sir, we'll never, ever get away with this. Well, of course we won't. Anyway, the whole thing's basically dishonest. Yeah. Don't worry, sir. We'll soon have her looking like a soldier. This is madness, sir. We'd, we'd never get away with it. I quite agree with you. I mean, if somebody found out, we'd be up for a court-martial. Oh, sure. <laughs> I mean, I never even liked the act very much. Well, don't keep staring at the girl. Excuse me, gentlemen. There we are, darling. Throw on the boots. Oh, well. Fine. Have you got anything a bit smaller than those? No, that's all we got. <laughs> One. <laughs> yeah, what about her bonnet? Don't worry about that. I've got it all worked oh, out. Right, right, tuck it up. On, right up there. Right. There you go. There we are. Underneath. Right up, right up. Right. Yeah, right up. Right. Tuck it all in there, huh? What about that, sir? The whole idea is ridiculous. Yes. She still looks like a girl to me, sir. How would you remember? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we're not finished yet. Come here. Right. Grab hold of that, darling. Get hold of the bins. Yeah. Put them on. Where'd you get the tash from, then? Never mind where I got it from. You want to know everything, don't you? Yeah. How's that? Transformation. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> Shut! Stick your chest out! Go! Cool. I don't think it's gonna work, sir. Don't get this art too soon. Right, now, right, right! <coughs> Finally, quick march! Leg, no, right, leg, 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 my God, what's that? <laughs> it's, a, it's a new recruiter. He's going to shoot for us this afternoon, sir. <laughs> He's a bit puny. What's he wearing pebble glasses for? How the hell can he shoot with those on? He's very long-sighted, sir. He, he'll take them off to shoot us. What's his name? Ah. <laughs> what's his name? Uh, Paderewski. Paderewski. Can't <laughs> <laughs> speak for himself? Uh, no, sir, he's, uh, he's Polish. He's in the Polish cavalry, you see, sir. That's why he's so short, sir. He used to be a jockey. <laughs> that, have you with us? <laughs> <laughs> Mandrake, did you see that uh, diamond ring? He's a bit pansy, isn't he? <laughs> well, I haven't known him very long, sir. <laughs> I see. Watch him. And I'll see you this afternoon. And I shall be there to see that everything's above board. Right, carry on. <laughs> Should prove to be a, a very interesting afternoon. Very. <laughs> I shall be waiting as 
the days go slowly by. Well done. Well done, Pike. Good up. Draw, boy. Draw, boy. One more to go. Give me steady, son. <laughs> what do you do that for? Well, I, I don't ask the boss. I saw Gary Cooper doing the film once. <laughs> I saw that film, sir. You know, it worked awfully well for Gary Cooper. <laughs> Hasn't worked awfully well for Pike, has it? <laughs> no, thank you so far, man. Ring. Let's see what your number two can do. Like right. Private uh, uh, Shostakovich. I thought you said his name was Paderewski. What? Oh, yes, yes. Paderewski Shostakovich. The, the uh, Poles, you know, very long names, some of them. Too. Right, well, then, carry on. <laughs> Full! Oh, oh, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Not that way! I'll have no mirror then. Of course you can't have a mirror. Get down. Hurry up, Man Ray. Not so good. That uh, puts you four points down. Uh, Next man. Fraser. Mm. Nice up. Oh, here, oh. come here. Uh, What's the matter with you? Supposed to be a crack shot. Perhaps you ought to have had clay pipes for targets. Yeah. Look, you got a first one in the ball. Well, cos it was normal. How do you mean normal? My routine. One normal, one upside down, one between me legs and one with a mirror. All right. Why can't you do it lying down? Well, because I can't get near enough to the ground, can I? <laughs> Mr. Manrin! Mr. Yes. Manrin! Mr. Fraser just got two Was balls! Done? What? Well done, Fraser. Well done. Well done. Oh. 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 Steady, steady, oh. steady, steady, Fraser. It's all right, sir. I was in mines because you're in the war. I, I used to pick off the mines. Hold oh. on! That's it. Take it easy. What are you waving it about like that for? It's the only way I can shoot, sir. This is the motion of the sea. <laughs> All right, do it any way you like, but remember, we only need one more bull to win. Yes, sir. Oh! Well, now, I never told you you were a crack shot, man. You never asked me. <laughs> yeah, we say you stood there while we... We, we tried to make that stupid girl look like a man. You wanted to go through that whole ridiculous pantomime and never said anything. Why didn't you speak? Well, sir, when the lassie began to take her clothes off, the word stuck in my throat. <laughs> Thank you.